So some circumstances out of my day today have become really aggravating uh, for this past week. And once again, that's for another, I just saw an orb shoot across it looked like. That's for my um, future video. So how are you? <laughs> one good thing is I had a visit and it was similar to one other that I had that I think I did a video on. You'll find out eventually if you've seen all my videos. So yesterday, I think it was around the time I got off of work, or it might have been still at work. I had threw the thought out there, hey, because I knew I was going to take my contact out yesterday. And I'm like, you know, there's such a pain in the butt because when I go to work with my glasses, they're bifocals on the bottom and I constantly have to tilt my head up to see the smaller print. And sometimes it hurts my neck. So I said, hey, I have full trust in you. Come and try to heal my eyesight tonight. And I think I threw it out there maybe twice, maximum. And then I forgot about it. I go to bed last night and I wake up. And <laughs> it was kind of funny because I felt like there were beings in the room. I open my eyes and I'm kind of like, whoa. And it felt like somebody had maybe rubbed Ben Gay around my eyes lightly because it wasn't overbearing. Because when I opened my eyes, they were kind of burning. And it, my room had a unique smell about it. Kind of smelled medicine-y. And I'm like, oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> then I, I shut my eyes. And then the familiarity of it came to me. Oh, this happened before. Still wasn't thinking about that thought that I threw out there. I closed my eyes because they were kind of stinging. And then I realized, I felt like I had a, a, a silicone kind of comfortable cap on. It felt like a full facial cap, but I think my mouth and my nose area were open. If it wasn't, I could breathe fine normally. And then I realized <laughs> that the part of it that was over my eyes, now keep in mind, I could see out of it like there was nothing there at all, but it felt warm. And I'm like, oh, okay. And I'm like, they're working on my eyes, evidently, or or something. Still didn't come to me. And I remember laying there and just feeling it because I enjoy the things that they do. And I go back to sleep. And this morning I'm getting ready for work. <laughs> and I'm like, whoa, I forgot about that. I threw that thought out there and that's what they were doing. And once again, you know, that's just to show you that they do listen to you and they can hear your thoughts. And once again, I don't know if it's my guides that do this work or my star family. I, I feel that they all can do that. But I do know that my guides, they, they can't heal or they try to heal. I don't know. I think everybody can heal. But I think it's their, um, their strat strategy. I might be wrong on that. And then my beliefs as in, you know, is this really going to work kind of thing? can prohib prohibit it. And I think maybe that's why when they were working on my foot, it didn't heal it or fix the problem. Because in my head, I'm like, oh my God, they're, they're working on it, but is that really gonna help? Is that really gonna cure it? And I think mainly it was me, not them. And then when I, I was at work, when I thought about this, I think, I think, I can't remember where I was, either at work or here. And I remember pulling my glasses down, it was at work. And I could, words were fuzzy still. And the eights looked like tens. <laughs> I don't know how, but they did. And I'm like, nope, okay. So I don't know if it if it's um, a lengthy process or it just didn't work. I don't know. But I told him last night, I have full faith in you. I trust you completely. And I do. And you know, if it worked, it worked a little bit. It's just that, you know, I had spent a lot of time trying to see what I can see and what I can't see. So, yeah, that was my visit last night. Oh, and I had a feeling, a sense that there was more than one, possibly two, and a male and a female, I think. But I always question myself. I'm really good at sensing if they're male or female. I don't know how, but I do. Yeah, I hope my uh, ring light isn't reflecting off my glasses a lot. I try to keep my head down a little bit, but I could see it. 
yeah. I, I sense it was a male and female, or possibly two females, but I know female for sure. I, when I second guess myself, I'm like, stop, don't. <laughs> because I'm usually always right about things like that, or floating hair. Other than that, there's nothing really new to share or anything. And this is probably gonna be a very short video. I have to, when I get off here, I'm going to mix up some more heavy whipping cream and sugar-free pudding mix. I bit my tongue the same time I said that. It's gonna sound funny. But in case you can't make it out, it was sugar-free pudding mix. <laughs> um, I, I, that's my sweet thing, because I'm on this diet. Although, yesterday and today I cheated and I, I need to stop. I lost three pounds. It's been over a week since I've been on the diet. And I don't work out. I don't exercise. And I need to. I'm not going to deny that. But that curves my sweet tooth. Because I have a really, really bad sweet tooth. I put my berries in it. And um, mix it together. And eat it. Or I'll just have a spoonful or two. And I'm done. The pudding part, I think, makes it a thicker substance. Because if you mix heavy whipping cream, it's thick anyway, or it thickens, and then double it with pudding mix. I think it has that consistency, and it makes me feel fuller with less amount. I had pizza, a personal pan pizza yesterday and today. Yesterday, I had two Dr. Peppers, today one. And do I feel guilty? Yes. <laughs> Most definitely, I do. And I worked hard to get where I was, and now the last two days, I cheated, but I don't feel bad about it. Well, I do feel bad about it, um, but I don't because I know tomorrow I can and will start over. So I'm not going to beat myself up about it. I uh, just kind of wish I didn't, but I do know we should have cheat days every now and then because if you don't, you're going to burn out and not stick with the diet. That's just my opinion. Whether it be right or wrong, I don't know, but it's my opinion. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to end this right here. I don't have, and although you don't see it because I edit these videos, but between my beginning and here, I feel like I took long pauses trying to wreck my brain of what I can add in this video. And I'm like, I just don't have anything. I don't have anything of interest. What am I going to put on here? Ah, I can't think of anything. I'm finally going to uh, mail back my little microphone that I had that kept, you know, not recording. Or it's not recording. It would just stop working. So I'm finally mailing that out tomorrow if I don't forget. So anyway, I hope you guys are having a good day or night wherever you're at. And I am sorry but I have nothing else to share at this time. But tomorrow I'll get up early and I hope to come up with something. I think I have a couple of things on my list of videos to do that I just forgot about today and didn't look them over. And yeah, I think I will do that tomorrow. Um, I don't know if I'll be doing on the um, gimbal, which one of my friends told me what it was. My Thing I put my attach my phone to and it's not jittery or shaky I should say I don't know if I'll do that tomorrow and walk around the house and kind of show you things or if I'll do it Friday or Saturday I don't know we will figure it out I hope you guys have a blessed day and I love you tremendously I hope you know that and I'm sending you love light and peace bye